You've probably encountered those who perceive the universe as a chance. It means everything we see in the world around us, from mountains and forests to humans and galaxies, even black holes, are all the result of a simple accident during the Big Bang. But have we ever experienced something in our human experiences that happened purely by chance, without any discernible reason? Believers in a random universe argue that based on recent findings in quantum physics in the 20th century, random events may occur in very tiny worlds, on the scale where atoms exist, but not in our larger human-scale universe. But are they correct in their thinking? In the face of their argument, which is based on the idea of uncertainty, what response is there? Are they right? And are they getting closer to the truth behind the curtain of the universe? In this video, we explore these questions and delve into physics and philosophy in search of truth. So stay with us. We research and study to find answers to the questions we ask ourselves in private. The journey to the mysterious world inside and the secrets hidden deep within the pages of the book helps us to better understand God, the meaning and the truth of life. To join us on this journey of discovery, subscribe to Hidden Secrets channel and press the bell icon. Heisenberg's Uncertainty Principle, which emerged as one of the most important concepts in 20th century quantum physics, has raised many doubts among philosophers, physicists, and ordinary people. Many physicists regard it as signaling the end of the cause and effect system. That is, they believe that according to the Uncertainty Principle, events do not need a specific cause to occur, they simply happen. Ultimately, these individuals come to a strange conclusion that our universe did not require a creator to come into being, but rather emerged because the probability of its occurrence existed. But is this statement logically and philosophically correct and acceptable? Could reaching this conclusion not be evidence of the limitations of human science? What is the answer? Quantum mechanics is very valuable. But an inner voice tells me this is not the right path. This theory has its merits, but does not bring us closer to the mysteries of God. I am sure God does not play dice. Albert Einstein Although Einstein himself was one of the founders of quantum mechanics, he never accepted quantum mechanics as a fact and always believed that the results generated by this branch today are due to the shortcomings of human knowledge and that God never governs the world with the help of chance and does not violate its laws. Despite supporters of quantum physics having been theorizing and conducting many experiments in this field for over a hundred years, critics on the opposite side have raised significant arguments. For example, some philosophers believe that it is not the principles of quantum laws, but our conclusions from them that are incorrect. Scientists believe that in the world of atoms, we cannot predict the future of a system. As a result, the law of cause and effect is violated and becomes impractical. Scientists justify this idea by saying, in classical physics, by understanding the state of a system and understanding the forces acting on it, we can accurately predict its future. However, this property does not exist in modern physics. And this is due to uncertainty in the quantum world. On the other hand, critics respond that not every specific cause is supposed to lead to the occurrence of only one event. Rather, each cause can create tens or perhaps thousands of different events. The idea that we search for a specific reason to create subatomic particles in quantum space or for an event to occur is a wrong path and perspective. Ultimately, it can be said that events in quantum space do not occur without reason but happen for reasons that we are not well aware of. Perhaps it is too early to understand what is referred to as the butterfly effect in physics. 
There is a famous example that illustrates the impact of this effect well. A nail, a horseshoe. A horseshoe, a horse. A horse, a soldier. A soldier, a war. A war, a country. Therefore, only a nail that was not properly hammered into a horseshoe was able to change the fate of the world. But this is not the only flaw that critics bring into the theory of uncertainty in quantum mechanics. They ask the question, if, according to the proponents of chance, we accept that there is no reason for events to occur, then shouldn't that particle created without cause come from non-being? Is it even possible for something to come from nothing? Are we not dealing with a logical contradiction? If something cannot be created from nothingness, then where do particles without a specific cause come from? So perhaps Einstein was right in saying that our science and capabilities are not sufficient to come to a definite conclusion about this matter and to become aware of the mysteries of God. As a result, opponents of this theory and the theory of random creation propose an alternative solution, namely, that everything is created with a specific cause or causes. If we fail to find a specific reason for an event to occur, it does not mean a violation of the law of cause and effect and randomness of the world, but it means that behind this seemingly simple event, there may be a series of other causes that we are unable to discover and investigate. For example, if in tossing a coin, which is seemingly a random event, we have the ability to examine all the initial conditions of the toss, calculating the outcome can be considered possible. Conditions such as the weight of the coin, wind speed, applied force, point of application of force, temperature and humidity, altitude above sea level, the amount of Earth's gravity at that point, and many other factors, both large and small. In this video, we examined the arguments of supporters of the theory of random creation and its opponents. We saw that opponents, with their reasons, have redefined the law of cause and effect in a new way and explained it logically. With all that has been said, which group do you think is right? 